As you can see. Oh. As you can see, we the only one with the Enwa Perigo. Perigo. Peri, Perigo. As you can see, man, whole lot of hate. Hey, 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 hey. Let me put this shit on my face. Hey, uh, wake up, Jeff. Wake up. <laughs> Coca Cola. Cause you know what I mean When you put in that much work These niggas got no choice But to hate on you Feel me Y'all niggas gotta understand that man. Feel me Y'all gotta understand that Man these niggas is hateful That's all they got left There's nothing else left to do Really There really ain't nothing there's nothing else left to do. They done hated and hated. Until hate don't even want to represent them no more. Even hate don't want to represent them. Feel me? You have to understand, man. When God spoke to the devil, he's like, yo, where the hell you been, nigga? I seen you going back and forth, divide. He spoke to the devil like an animal. He asked the devil, you've been going back and forth, devouring the land. He said, I went back and forth around the land. I ain't see nobody worthy. <laughs> the devil said he ain't see nobody worthy of him attacking. That's what he said. He said, I did not see nobody worthy. But that nigga Joe, or whatever his name is. You know, you know your favorite? Yeah, him. I want that one. Take everything away from him. He said, God said, you can, you, you, can, you can do whatever you want to him, but you cannot have his soul. Which means you can put him through all the tests that you want. You, you, shit, you can take everything from him, but you cannot have his soul. So which meaning that there is a special kind of person where God himself will not allow certain things to happen to. But that's too obvious. I don't want to talk about what the things that God did. I want to talk about the fact that God spoke to the devil like a creature. Like he saw him. And he seen that there was something wrong with him. He's like, yo, what is going on with you, bro? You have authority over men. This is your earth is your kingdom. Why is it that you look displeased? What is it? And that's the thing with these haters sometimes, man. You can give them everybody. You can give them the earth. You can give them everything. You can give them a whole company. It could be... You can give them a country. Shit, you can give them all the bitches in the world. You can give them all the money. They still would not be happy just like their father. If they don't get what they need to get, they want that special prize. They want that target. There's a difference between a chicken and a steak. And they want that steak. You feel me? <laughs> for real, for real. You know what I mean? So they can degrade you. They can tell a whole lot of story. But you have to understand... Just like the devil in that moment. I'm trying to paint a picture to you. Stay with me. You see? When, it, when God told him, you can do whatever you want to him, but you cannot have his soul. The only thing the devil can do to him was to premeditate hate on that individual so the devil wanted him to think that his father has forsaken him so he put him through the most treacherous thing you can ever go through so that he can give up but he never gave up so everything that the devil was doing was premeditated hey and that's what these niggas be doing too they do all this shit I don't went from job one I done went from the job that I came here with to another job, to another job, to another job. 
Now they premeditate hate into the future, trying to take this one away from you too. They premeditated hate willing ill on you. They premeditated hate wishing eviction on you. You feel me? That's the same thing with the devil. The devil was already plotting on this man and this man didn't even do nothing wrong. You feel me? He didn't do nothing wrong. He went to go ask authority and they told him what he can do and what he cannot do. Basically, he couldn't do nothing to this man. He can only project the hate. This man has to give in to him. As the train coming, it's just, it's just gonna run by. It's not even gonna stop. Usually when that shit comes like that. <clears throat> so the devil really don't have nothing. His only, the only thing that he got is to trick you. That's all, that's the last trick he got. The last trick that he has is a trick in itself, which meaning nothing. You feel me? I mean, that man, he, he, he took everything away from that man. You feel me? Everything, everything, my nigga, that the devil does to the chosen one, because he was a chosen one. You feel me? I hate to use the term chosen one because everybody else is using it, and I don't want to seem like I'm biting, but fucking I'm biting. The chosen one, you feel me? When you're a chosen one, the devil has to ask permission from God to test you. And when he do test you, he can never take your life away. So you have nothing to be fearful of. You feel me? They put you through the most treacherous, disgusting, degrading. They put you through some treacherous, disgusting, degrading. They even degrade themselves. They hate you because you allow them to degrade. It's, it's as if... It's, it's, it's as if they mad at you for allowing them to play with you the way they play with you. I'm like, why are you mad? You the one doing all this shit. I didn't ask you to do this. You feel me? But yeah, they put him through all this thing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. The devil took everything away from him. The devil took his hair. The devil took his kids. The devil took his wife. Even his own wife turned on him. The devil took his riches. The devil took his land. He kept on taking, taking, taking. It was not enough. Like, you feel me? Everything that he can possibly take, he was taking and taking, but it was not enough because it wasn't fulfilling to him. He wanted something else so, so bad. He just wanted that. That's what he wanted. He didn't want... He kept on taking and taking. He just couldn't... The man did not turn his back on himself and did not turn his fate against God. You feel me? In those situations, it was easy for him to be like, fuck it, man. This is bullshit. You know how many times I done said that in my head? I be, I be like, damn, man. Fuck, nigga. But still, man, you gotta keep the faith. You feel me? You gotta keep the faith. You gotta believe in yourself. If you don't believe in God, just believe in yourself. Whatever you believe in, whatever whatever God, is, God needs to use out of you, Keep with your shit. Keep with your stripes. You feel me? Because God is still using that that special part of you. Although you don't even believe in him, he's using you as an example. You feel me? For his glory. So that man cannot depend on other man. Man has to depend on him. You understand? That was the whole point of putting that man through what he did. You feel me? He knew what the devil was going to ask for. You feel me? He know that's his lower version. He knows how the devil thinks. You feel me? He knows that... Like, he knows his enemy. When Christ came on earth, Christ knew everything about the devil. Christ knew about the kingdom of legions. He knew that the devil had a kingdom. He knew the behavior of the devil and everything else like that. You feel me? He knew the devil would tempt you. He knew all this shit already. So it's like, God knows. God already knows all. He knew you before you was even birth. He knew you when you was in your mother's. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb. You feel me? Think about it. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb. And when he told story, when he tell people about his prophecy, he told prophecy that happened 400 years after. So which meaning he knew you before you was in your mother's womb. 
and when you became a man he still knows you before you even become that person he knows what's in you your seeds and everything else that's going to grow out of you that's going to become something he sees in the past in the present and in the future feel me so he knew what the devil was going to ask he knew that you feel me he knew that even if he knew even if we give him the world even if we give him even, even if we give him the job even if we give him the girls even if we give him the money he still she still it still they still not gonna be happy come on man it's not about them taking the money the girls the cars the clothes and everything else like that it's the ick factor it's the fact that you do not bow you're not you're not in sorrow you're not begging you feel me you're not in panic mode you're not scared you feel me it's the fact that you keep coming back and they just can't understand it you feel me that's what it is they're resisting they missed it and mr irrelevant remember that how the hell you got a nice car but yeah you're still jealous of me and i'm waiting on my train that should take a hell of long by the way <clears throat> gracefully waiting but yeah you still but yeah you still a uh, bitter and you still mad i'm like god damn nigga. how the hell you mad you got a beautiful woman next to you and you still mad and i'm like damn nigga. you making fun of me for not having any bitch but yeah you you out here talking about me but you got something nice next to you how can you forsake what is in your hand just to look at another man's hand and see what's in their hand and want what's in their hand when it seems like you have that much greater in your hand how can it be that what it perceives to be that somebody that has more yet is jealous of somebody who has less let it go like we talking about this ain't got a whole charger custom design and he's still making those the precision the precision the precision the precision the fact that you it seems that you have more it seems like you were put together it seems like you healthy, you eating good and everything else like that. It seems like it, you feel me? It seems like, yo, it seems like you doing way better than most niggas. But yeah, you, you seems to be jealous of me. Why is that? You feel me? How can the devil, who is having a conversation with God, the creator of the universe... It seems that the devil was in a position. I mean, how many men wouldn't kill for such an opportunity to have a conversation with God? Only one man in the history of men, maybe a few, maybe two, has had a chance to speak with God. Yet the devil was in that position speaking to God. And the only thing he can ask God of is to go hate on another man. You see, you always gotta follow the father. Because a lot of these niggas, be praying for your downfall. They actually go to God and pray for your downfall. Shit crazy. Knowing God, he answered a prayer too. But he gives instructions on that. Like, this is what you need to do. I can understand this is what you want. You feel me? And you know that's my favorite. I can't let that happen. But you can have this, you can have that, you can have that, but you can't have him himself. You feel me? Here is the devil. In the midst of God the creator of the universe himself his very breath is continuously living among us he spoke one time and one time alone let there be light and that light has been on has been turned on other niggas light and another light another light those people having 10 5 kids they can't stop having kids the light is continuously growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and grooming you feel me? It is the light that goes on. Look at the light all around us. Look at nature. Look at Jeffrey. Look at everything that you see came from that single voice that said, let there be light. You feel me? The devil was speaking to the creator of everything else that we are in right now. The very ground that I walk on. The space and the air that I'm in. The space that I'm walking through that I cannot feel, but yet it's still there the micro and the moisture and the uh, molecules that's surrounding us things seen and unseen that is around us that's what he has created the devil was in the midst of a person like that and the only thing that he can ask in that moment 
He didn't even ask for blessing. He didn't say, yo, God, forgive me, man. I know, I know, I know some fuck shit, man. I was on some fuck shit, man. But he stuck to his very nature. Envious and jealous. Worrying about the next nigga. <laughs> you feel me? He worried about the next nigga. Like, you, you in the present of greatness. Literally. You in the present of greatness. And the only thing you can ask... Is can I have his soul? I know he's your favorite. <laughs> I could just imagine him being evil as he he he, he could be grinning. <laughs> I want that one right there. I know that's your favorite always with his trick stuff. His sex appeal. You know that's all the devil got. The devil got the beauty, the sex appeals, the entertainment, charming. This all this all devilish things. You feel me? So he came around trying to play the same tricks on God himself. Just like when, when the devil met, uh, when the devil met uh, Jesus in the wilderness, speaking smoothly to him. He's like, yeah, I know you hungry, nigga. Shit. And you thirsty too? You ain't eating 40 days and 40 nights? Nigga turned his, man, he was using all kinds of sexy words for the Christ himself. You feel me? So you have to understand the devil is very charming. Very, very charming. He got the gift of gab. Because he needs these tricks to persuade you as a person. So here's a man who's in the presence of God asking to hate on somebody else. Hey, this shit packed up. It is a mess of website. You're in the midst of it all. Shh, be quiet. I'm tired of the niggas. This shit's so bad, man. I'm tired of these niggas. in every corner <laughs> yeah but that's the, the story about the devil for you but i'll holler at y'all later you know i got a few i got i see a few demons in here serpents serpents snakes i ain't see nothing yet <laughs> i'll holler at y'all later